Join us on an exciting journey through the life of Graeme Sones, a true football icon. From his early days in Edinburgh to becoming a star at Liverpool and leading Scotland, Sones' story is full of thrilling moments on the football field. But there's more to his story than just football. Sones faced a major health challenge that showed his strength off the field too. Stay tuned as we delve into the life of Graeme Sones, exploring his remarkable career and the personal battle that tested him. Graeme Sowness was born on May 6, 1953, in the heart of Edinburgh, Scotland. Growing up in a family passionate about football, it was clear from a young age that the game ran in his blood. His early life in the Scottish capital laid the foundation for a career that would leave a lasting mark on the world of football. In the bustling streets of Edinburgh, Sowness's love for the sport ignited. As a youngster, he often played football with friends, honing his skills and nurturing a dream that would one day lead him to international fame. His early experiences were not just about playing, they were about understanding the game, learning the value of teamwork and developing the determination that would become his trademark. Saunas joined local youth clubs where his natural talent quickly shone through. Despite the city's chilly winds and the rugged play of Scottish football, he stood out for his sharp mind on the field and his ability to read the game. These formative years were crucial as they moulded Saunas into a player known for both his physical strength and his strategic thinking. His journey in football began in earnest at the Tynecastle Boys Club, a nurturing ground for young talent in Edinburgh. It was here that Saunas's skills were sharpened and his potential began to catch the eyes of scouts from bigger clubs. His dedication to the game was evident, spending countless hours practising and playing, always striving to improve. Graeme Souness's path in professional football began with high hopes but immediate challenges. His early career at Tottenham Hotspur, a club renowned in English football, was fraught with hurdles, primarily the struggle for first-team action. Despite his evident talent and work ethic, Souness found himself sidelined, a period marked more by waiting and learning than playing. This phase, while frustrating, instilled in him a patience and resilience that would define his career, the real turning point came in 1972 when Sowness transferred to Middlesbrough, a club with a reputation for nurturing talent. Here, he was not just another squad member, but a pivotal figure on the pitch. Middlesbrough provided the much-needed regular playtime, enabling Sowness to flourish as a midfielder known for his robust play, tactical intelligence and technical skills. This move marked the start of Sowness' ascension in professional football, transitioning him from a struggling talent at Tottenham to a central figure at Middlesbrough. During his tenure at Middlesbrough, Sowness's style of play evolved significantly. His tenacity, coupled with his ability to control the game and make decisive plays, made him a standout performer. This period was foundational, shaping Sowness into the formidable player and future footballing icon he would become. His impact at Middlesbrough not only elevated his career, but also laid the groundwork for his subsequent success in English and international football. Graeme Souness's move to Liverpool in 1978 marked a significant milestone in his career, transforming him into a key figure at one of football's most celebrated clubs. At Liverpool, he became renowned for his robust playing style, tactical intelligence and leadership, quickly becoming a central figure in the team's midfield. During his tenure at Liverpool, Souness became the linchpin of a squad experiencing a golden era, contributing significantly to its domestic and international successes. His role extended beyond that of a mere player. He was the driving force in the midfield, combining technical ability with physical strength to influence games decisively. Souness's time at Liverpool was characterised by his assertive and strategic play, which became integral to the team's identity. His ability to dictate the pace of matches and execute crucial plays earned him admiration from fans and peers alike, solidifying his status as a footballing icon at the club. He was instrumental in establishing and maintaining Liverpool's competitive spirit, pushing his teammates to excel in both domestic leagues and European competitions. Souness's impact at Liverpool was profound, as he helped to cultivate a culture of success and resilience that left an enduring legacy at the club. Graeme Sounds made significant contributions to the Scotland national team. His journey with the Scottish side showcased his leadership and formidable presence on the international stage. Souness earned his first cap for Scotland in the mid-1970s, stepping into a team eager to make its mark in international football. Throughout his international career, Sowness became known for his robust style and strategic gameplay, 
traits that made him a central figure for Scotland. He represented his country in the World Cup, notably participating in the 1982 and 1986 tournaments. His performances in these competitions underlined his importance to the national team, where his experience and tactical intelligence were invaluable. As a midfielder, Souness brought a level of control and aggression to Scotland's play. His ability to read the game and make decisive plays helped Scotland compete against some of the world's best teams. Despite Scotland not reaching the late stages of these tournaments, Souness's efforts were a testament to his commitment and quality as a player. Graeme Souness, a commanding figure in football, not only etched his name in Liverpool's history with his leadership, but also with his strategic and robust playing style. His journey at Liverpool, starting in 1978, saw him becoming a linchpin in a squad that dominated both English and European football. Souness, renowned for his hard-tackling approach and game intelligence, quickly became a key player, embodying the team's competitive spirit and tactical acumen. During his time at Liverpool, Souness contributed significantly to the team's success, securing five English league titles and lifting the European Cup three times. His memorable performances, especially in European competitions, were pivotal in Liverpool's dominance, showcasing his ability to influence games at the highest level. His strategic mindset and physical prowess were instrumental in pivotal matches, including the European Cup finals where Liverpool's victory over clubs like Roma in 1984 solidified their place as giants in European football. Transitioning to his international career with Scotland, Souness earned 54 caps, demonstrating his leadership and skill on a global stage. Although he didn't experience the same level of success as with Liverpool, his presence in the Scottish national team during World Cups brought invaluable experience and tenacity to the side. His personal accolades, like being named the PFA Players Player of the Year and earning a spot in the PFA Team of the Year multiple times, underscore his influence and respect in the game. Souness's career, marked by crucial goals, tactical nose and transformative leadership, both on and off the field, left an indelible mark on the clubs he served and the football world at large. Graeme Souness's career, though marked by significant success, was not without its challenges and controversies. Known for his hard-nosed playing style, Souness was often in the spotlight for his aggressive approach on the field. This intensity, while a driving force behind his success, also led to numerous disciplinary issues, including on-field altercations and bookings. His tough manner of play, characterized by fierce tackles, sometimes put him at odds with referees and opponents alike. Graeme Souness's career is marked by a series of life-changing decisions that significantly influenced his journey in football. One of the most notable moments was his move to Sampdoria in 1984. This transfer was not just a change of club, but also a cultural shift, as Souness immersed himself in the Italian football scene, bringing with him a wealth of experience from the British game. His time in Italy at Sampdoria broadened his understanding of football, exposing him to different styles and tactics and influencing his approach to the game. Transitioning from player to manager brought new adversities for Souness. While his managerial tenure at Rangers proved transformative for the club, it was also a period of intense scrutiny and pressure. As a player manager, he had to balance the dual responsibilities of leading the team on the field and making strategic decisions off it. This transition was challenging as he had to navigate the complexities of managing former teammates and instilling a new culture and discipline within the club. At Rangers, Souness implemented aggressive recruitment and modern tactics, which, while leading to a period of dominance, also sparked controversies, particularly his decision to sign Catholic players, breaking the club's long-standing tradition. This move was both groundbreaking and contentious, reflecting Souness's willingness to challenge norms and push boundaries for the sake of success. Despite these adversities, Souness's time as a player manager at Rangers was marked by significant achievements, including multiple league titles and league cups. His impact went beyond trophies. He changed the face of Scottish football with his innovative approach and leadership. His ability to overcome challenges and adversities, both on and off the field, showcases his resilience and determination, further cementing his legacy in the football world. 
After his impactful stint at Rangers, Soness embarked on a managerial career that saw him traverse various European clubs, including Liverpool, Galatasaray, Southampton, Torino, Benfica, Blackburn Rovers and Newcastle United. Each of these experiences contributed to his development as a manager, allowing him to refine his style and approach. His time managing Liverpool in particular was a significant chapter in his life, as he returned to a club where he had previously achieved immense success as a player. Graeme Souness's life off the pitch is as rich and varied as his career on it. Souness has been married twice, with his personal life often remaining private, reflecting his focused and determined nature. His first marriage was to Danielle Wilson, with whom he has four children. The couple's relationship and subsequent separation were parts of his life that, while personal, also influenced his career, as family support played a significant role in his journey. In 1994, Souness married his second wife, Karen, and together they have built a life that, while centered around football, also embraces a range of interests beyond the sport. Beyond his family, Souness's personal interests are diverse. Known for his love of golf, he finds relaxation and a competitive outlet on the golf course, which provides a contrast to the high-pressure world of professional football. Souness is also known for his keen interest in history and politics, showcasing a multifaceted personality that extends well beyond his public persona as a footballer and manager. Graeme Souness's health journey significantly impacted his life and work, leading him to become an advocate for health awareness. In the early 1990s, while managing Liverpool, Souness faced a major health scare. He was diagnosed with heart disease, which led to him undergoing open-heart surgery. This experience was a wake-up call for Souness, emphasizing the importance of health and well-being, regardless of one's physical fitness or career demands. After his surgery, Souness experienced a tough recovery period, marked by physical and mental challenges, including panic attacks and vulnerability. This ordeal deeply affected him and spurred him to promote the importance of regular health checkups and awareness, especially concerning heart disease. Souness's health battles didn't end there. In 2015, he suffered a heart attack, which further strengthened his resolve to support heart health initiatives. As a result, he became an ambassador for the British Heart Foundation, BHF, sharing his story to raise awareness about heart conditions and the critical need for research and medical advancements in this area. His advocacy work with the BHF involves participating in campaigns and events to educate the public about heart health encouraging people to be proactive about their cardiovascular well-being. Souness's personal experiences with heart disease have made him a passionate advocate, using his public profile to make a positive impact in the health sector. Graeme Souness stands out as a football icon, known for his strong and determined nature both on and off the field. As a player, he was a powerful force, leading his teams to many victories. Later, as a manager and TV expert, he shared his deep knowledge of the game, influencing how people see and understand football. Souness has also helped raise awareness about health issues, showing his caring side beyond football. His lasting impact in the sport comes from his skill, leadership, and the way he cares about important issues.